Hey guys, welcome to my first video on Modern Warfare. Um, this is going to be a brand new series. It's going to be a maps guide to all the maps, including all the DLC maps that are on Modern Warfare and coming out on Modern Warfare. Um, so this first one is going to be the dreaded Piccadilly one, because uh, I believe um, people need the most help with this map, um, especially with the spawn trapping at the moment. I've got a couple of ways out of that. Um, this is my least favourite map because of the spawn trapping and the weird design, if I pull up the map real quick you can see it's it's a weird design map um, although it is my least favourite one I do think it's the best looking like it looks phenomenal if I pronounce that correctly it's just the way it plays isn't great but I've got a few tips and um, lines of sights that sort of stuff that will help you guys hopefully improve your KD on this map and get you that win so anyway um, I put on domination just to make it a little bit easier to show you the go outs and all that sort of stuff um, but this will help you on any game mode um, so first place we spawn in our A side um, now as you are probably aware if you played this map but this is the side that everyone gets spawn trapped on um, what you find is someone might be sat up there um, they are be in this building looking out mountain round behind this taxi right here or most commonly they're behind this concrete barrier right here normally about here shooting you there um, as, and I suppose they can get you through the bus there through this little bit there and there but I'm going to show you a couple of ways to get that camper or spawn trap should we say off of this uh, spot so we run all the way back um, now this is really good because you can change your class um, mid game so if I go loadouts, edit loadout you can change it all um, so I've got a sort of and sniper just to show you a couple of places so first one obviously you spawn behind this bus um, you can come jump up on this bin mount around and take them off of there um, this um, you can't see the concrete barrier but you can see the taxi uh, as well as up here, this is probably the better place to get this guy, but obviously that guy will probably take you off um, But if you run all the way back here and this bin here, if you jump on it and go right to the edge And crouch down Now where that A flag is, if you zoom in You can see if you walk onto the edge, if I can get to the edge I wasn't quite on the edge That the concrete barrier is right there, so if I shoot I'll show you where it hits in a minute uh, but you can pick them off very easy with a sniper right there and the other place as well if you so you spawn behind oh, spawn behind here again you can get in the bus if you really want to but they're going to expect you there uh, but if you run down here slide so you stay in behind the cover so they don't see you and try and get in the garage as quickly as possible as uh, so you can go behind taxi, but what I recommend is jumping up on this yellow pole onto the ticket or the barrier machine, whatever you want to call it. Crouch down and boom, right there. Uh, you can see my sniper shot right there. Um, it's going to be a lot harder for them to see you in this spot because they've got this blocking you, that pillar, the taxi. You're just going to blend in really quickly. Okay, so everyone as well which is a really good spot I haven't seen anyone else use this spot just myself so I'm the one that found it <laughs> I don't know if it's a glitch um, I hope not but it is what it is um, so you can do it at the beginning of the match uh, it's going to be a bit harder to get into it if you get spawn trapped but what you do is you can't jump on this van normally just slide straight off so if you jump on this little bollard and jump on a van obviously um, you're wide open so just watch out make sure you are clear but you can jump across this bus shelter um, so you can lay up here if you really want to and wait for them um, can't quite see that one yet so this little sign here you can literally just walk across if you walk on the corners if not you can just jump across and you, go, you see straight in that window obviously only a corner of it um, but you are up here and you can go out and see there and again no one is ever going to expect you up here because I haven't seen anyone up here um, so this is just a really good spot to bear in mind 
and if you can get up here I highly recommend it and obviously they're not going to see you coming underneath if they're rushing you for spawn traps you, you're going to kill them before they see you especially like that so let's see we run into the middle of the map a lot of people run straight up here start shooting straight through here and again you're going to be picked up straight away you can jump on the bus but again everyone expects you up here Uh, okay, so what I recommend is jumping on this rail right here and looking through here, get up to the top. So you're covered by the top of the bus, but as you can see, you can see straight down here, which is where they're going to be running through because the sea flag is right there. Um, now, to come to this spot, for example, they might have claim more here, might have claim more down here, so you can't get to them if they're in that spot. When you're running across, you might come that way down here. Now, one of the more easier ones is jump on this, jump up, if it lets me. I say easier, it's not even going to let me now. <laughs> come on. I made that look a lot harder than what it should be, but you can get them up here. I don't use this one because they might have a friend up there as well, shooting out that bit. So, what I do, obviously, you spawn over there run through that building, run down this corridor and jump in this ambulance run across this fence and jump, look how much easier that was and then you got them straight there now let's get that clean more and again you can get down here shoot through this little um, plank cover uh, to that window because you do get campers up there they're never going to see you here because it has got this cover on it so let's say we went left side that window again uh, straight through there what I recommend is just popping up over these uh, arcade machines just to take out that camper because you're going to get them every time we will come back to that spot after so you can get in the bus as well by the way um, so what I recommend is not rushing into the centre of the map obviously if you've got B flag you do need to go in the centre but what I do is play on the outsides of the map um, because the centre is so chaotic so I normally go to the right side I will show you the left side after though um, so if we go through here again unfortunately there's no crazy spots in here just to let you know a bit of map sorry map knowledge so if you run through this door you're going to set the alarms off just like that now it doesn't matter at the beginning of the map what I will recommend is running through the glass so obviously that's going to make a loud noise but if you do it at the beginning of the map you can keep running through this spot and as you can hear it doesn't set the alarms off uh, also there's a little room in here that you can run past so instead of coming straight out to there because you're coming right out in front of the buses where people can be Run to your right, and straight through, and straight up the corridor. Now, the other thing with this corridor, obviously you're going to be rushing through here, enemies going rushing through here. So if you backtrack a little bit, go to this ambulance, go prone, you can see straight down there. Um, and shoot, obviously, go back a little bit so you don't get prone blocked. Somehow, there you go. <laughs> cool, so we run up this end of the map uh, there's not too much this side and through there uh, one spot that there is though is you can jump on this cop car and jump on this bus stop as well and onto the telephone boxes again you're in the wide open um, so I don't really recommend it but the option is there if you want it you can also get behind this barrier here if you're expecting enemies to come through so where we're here as well is this uh, substation, subway station is shut off, but you can actually jump down. Uh, this is a good place to call in cool, um, score streets. You can also shoot through this barrier, which is really good. Um, the other one is if you jump on here, walk across. You can check through here in the subway. So this subway actually goes down underground, so you can check it as they come out, kill them 
Um, you can also jump on top, just like that, and onto here. Again, you're in the wide open, so I don't really recommend it. Uh, if I do that again, so I can show you. I apologise if you just heard about it. It's my cat. <laughs> just walk past in the mic. Uh, so, okay. You can jump on that and onto the buses if you really want to, but again, you're in wide open. Um, so this is the bookstore. Run straight through. Not a lot of people know that there is a little flank route right through here. If, for example, it's claymores and stuff here, but it's not too much going on in this building. Just bear in mind it has got gates. So if you've got someone camping out here, they will hear you come in. Um, this is a nice spot here, this bin. If you crouch down, you can shoot straight through here as they come through. And quick run away, just back underground. And you're back to the other side of the map. That's literally just from there to there, so it's just running away basically. <laughs> uh, this is the other spawn for domination nothing too interesting happening on here there's not much you can do if you do find yourself trapped here this is the only sort of cover you have unfortunately as well as the cars but obviously if they explode you're kind of done for uh, this building here again nothing too interesting here this is just a spawn building there's no spots in here unfortunately and same finally with this other spawn um, there's not too much here you can't get inside of this bus unfortunately um, yeah, you got like these doorways, um, but generally, I'm sure if you play this map, you know that that side is the side that gets spawn trapped the most. Okay, so you can get on top of these ones as well. Jumping it by jumping in, ooh, on this electric box onto the sign. I'm kind of failing today, and jump across, just like that. You can also jump on this one. And I can never make that one, but you can. Uh, you can also do it this way as well. There you go, straight like that. If you really want to. Now, like I said, you can get on top of the buses by jumping on those surfing boxes onto there, to there. But definitely don't recommend it unless you are playing such to just pick off some people that aren't. Um, but again, it is possible. In here, like I said, I've shown you a couple of ways to get snipers and campers out there. Um, so, a bit of my knowledge is this door, this door, and this door will have these electric things on. So, if you run through them, it sets the alarm off and they're really loud. They will hear you upstairs. Um, this door here doesn't have barriers, no idea why, but um, if you're playing search and destroy that sort of stuff, always run through this bit. Um, if you want it to come in here and like watch B, I think it's B bomb or A bomb that's there. Um, so run through there so they don't hear you. Uh, this door here you can jump on top um, if you really wanted to just uh, camp again. I don't really recommend camping, but um, if you know someone's coming and they're chasing you, you can quickly do that. It does get like you do need to get used to jumping on it. Uh, it's kind of like jump and hold B side on it, it's a bit weird. Um, what I find as well is a lot of people put claymores behind here. What happens though is um, the enemy, you can't really see it, but what they do is uh, shoot a rocket launcher, or a grenade it, knowing that there's claymores here. So what I recommend is putting it here. Now what this does, um, not there, sorry, You're about there. So they're not going to see that. And the other thing, if they're sneaking around, the stasers blend in with the staircase. So as soon as they come around, bam. Um, so again, I'm sure you're all aware of No, or you might not know, is you can. Uh, again, because this is quite new, a lot of people might not know that. They never really expect you just for a flash or something in there just to. <laughs> so. I shown you sub subways gets out of the map, but if you look on the mini map, it's actually not right over. High down here, calling cool, cool your school score streaks or kill streaks in this game. Sorry, and um, they're never going to expect you here. You can also crouch and look through these gaps. Um, you can see them rushing you, so you can 
potentially shoot them. The other one as well is you could be watching, getting ready and pick them off and say run through here because they're not going to be expecting you. A lot of people will camp here uh, or camp along here so they're going to be looking here and here. They're not going to be looking in here. Um, just because of that as well, I'm showing you some of the places they look out for. Um, now I'm going to show you the left side. Uh, so coming through the arcade, like I said, check that window up there. Uh, for anyone looking, you can look for the AR as well. Um, so instead of coming out of here, running around here, down through here, and you're going to have someone sitting there probably looking at you, someone looking through there, straight through this door. So what I recommend is jumping over here, and jumping over here, so you get to here. They're, they're not going to expect you. They're going to be looking through there, so you can rush them and bam, you got them straight away. And again, you can always just do this if you really wanted to. Straight out, you're straight behind them. You're going to uh, take them by surprise. They're definitely not going to be expecting you. Um, but I believe that might be it for this map. Um, unfortunately, there's no special capture points for the flags. Furthest you can cap them is this one here, I believe. Yeah. So if you go two out, both sides, I get just there. Uh, let's see if I can get on those buses real quick so I can actually show you them in in action just to prove to you that you can actually jump on them I didn't want to do that <laughs> can't even jump on there so what it is is this bit's a little bit higher so you need to get there and jump on this one right let's try this Nope. <laughs> One more go. If it was a good spot, I would probably try a bit more and actually show you up there. But again, it's it's just good to know that you can go up there so you can look out for cases that they're not going to get you by surprise. Oh, there we go. Just jump on this light and then across to here. And you can jump on all the buses. Just like that. Across to here. Um, so just bear this in mind that you can top of the buses. I believe you can get from this um, jeep as well so if we jump up oh no I thought you could yeah. um, like I said this parking sign spot is probably the best one just there so as you can see that's really dark so they're definitely not going to be expecting you um, especially if you've got a sniper just bear in mind that when you zoom in it is going to show the flash so they'll be able to see so probably an AR would be better unless you're picking them off before they get here like when they're running through there or there um, not when they're here unless you're really good at shooting you could just shoot them straight away um, but guys I hope this helped you it is a little bit longer this map um, because this map is a lot harder don't want to throw everything out there um, just don't kill me with some of these spots and we'll be all good <laughs> uh, let me know in the comment section what maps you want to see next 